Hello everybody, welcome to a tutorial about installing fonts in Linux. It's a question that comes up quite a bit, so let's go ahead. I'm running Linux right now on my Mac in uh, a virtual machine using VirtualBox, which might be a tutorial later. And we're going to switch over to full screen mode. And I'm going to show you how to do this. First we're going to open up Firefox. <clears throat> and we're going to search for a font we want to install. Do to do to do. Slow. Okay. I'm running other stuff in the background. So let's go ahead and find, um, let's call it Fire Font. See what we have. Fire and Ice Fonts. And oh, I like this one. Let's go ahead and download it. And it should download. And we're going to go ahead and say save file by default. And now, depending on how you have Firefox set up, this is either going to download to your desktop or, of course, it may download to your download folder. Um, go ahead and minimize this window, get rid of that window. And obviously it's not there, so more than likely, if I go to my home folder under places, and I am using Ubuntu here, so you know, use your, uh, go to downloads, you know, use your appropriate methods to get to where you need to go. And, oh, there's our file. So I'm going to just open it up in Archive Manager, and I'm going to go ahead and drag it out. And this is a true type font. And theoretically, Ubuntu should be able to open both true type fonts and open type. Now, all we really need to do is double click on this file. And you can see now we have our font showing up. And if we look over here, we see install font. And just that quickly, it should be installed. Let's go ahead and open up OpenOffice and make sure that we can get to it. And there we go. Actually, I'm using LibreOffice. And it looks a lot like OpenOffice, but it's pretty much the same thing. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, look for our font that we just installed. There it is. And as you can see, we have installed a new font in our Linux box. So I hope that answers any questions you might have, and we'll go ahead and catch you next time on the Introduction to Linux tutorials. Thank you.